Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Mechanics C. Today's topic is projectile motion. The objectives are, know a projectile is two-dimensional motion, and the, the two dimensions, x and y, are independent of each other. Understand, x and y components must be treated separately using kinematic equations with constant acceleration in each dimension. Be able to calculate kinematic quantities of an object in projectile motion. Describe projectile motion. A projectile moves in a vertical plane that's two-dimensional xy plane, and that plane contains initial velocity v0. The path of projectile is called trajectory. Its trajectory depends only on the v0 and the effect of gravity, so for now we uh, ignore air resistance. Examples of projectiles include um, a batted baseball, a thrown football, a bullet shot from a rifle, or a package dropped from an airplane. A projectile is a combination of horizontal and vertical motion. In the horizontal direction, Vx is constant. This is because there is no horizontal acceleration. This is, again, because there is no horizontal force. So x distance is the same in the same time interval. In the y direction, in the vertical direction, Ay is negative g. This negative means it's going downward. This indicates Vy changes by equal amount during the equal time interval. So it changes by negative 10 meters per second every second almost. Okay, so at the top of the trajectory, the projectile has zero vertical velocity. Vy equals zero, but its vertical acceleration is still negative g. It's almost negative 10 or negative 9.8 to be exact. Projectile motion equations. To solve projectile problems, we have to use uh, kinematic equations with constant acceleration separately for x, dimension and y dimension. As you can see for x dimension, since acceleration equals zero, really only the top equation is useful. The other two equations are not useful for us. In the y dimension, remember acceleration is constant, which is negative g. So we simply substitute negative g into a y. This negative means the direction is downward. Sometimes you will see uh, how people solve not use a negative, and that is okay because this negative you decide. You have a negative because you have determined upward to be positive. And sometimes you can see questions solved with not a negative, and that's fine. That That is because people have decided in that particular problem use downward as positive. So it's fine, okay? As long as you are consistent inside your uh, inside your problem. Remember, in both equations, time is the same for both dimensions. So sometimes we use the top equation for the x dimension to solve for time. Then we substitute that time in the y uh, dimension to find the perimeters in y and vice versa. Horizontal and vertical motion are independent of each other. The red ball dropped from rest and the yellow ball projected horizontally at the same time. And here, this is what the picture shows. At any given time, both balls have the same y position, y velocity, and y acceleration, despite, despite having different x positions and x velocity. A projectile's motion depends on v0 and g only. So if we know v0, that means we know its magnitude and its, its direction, alpha naught. Then we can find uh, its position at any time. We can find its velocity at any given time. So to find the first step is always to find initial horizontal and vertical velocity. So horizontal velocity is using the triangle. We have horizontal is v naught cosine alpha naught, and the initial vertical velocity is v naught sine alpha naught, that's because it's in the y direction. So if we take the initial position as at the origin, then we can find x, y position at any time, x and y. And this is the position vector. We can find velocity at any time using the equation, kinematic equations, and we can find the velocity vector. 
this r, the square root of x squared plus y squared, that is the distance, for instance, from here to the very top or from here to any time. That's a direct line. That's, a, that's how big the line is. That's a distance from one point to the other, right? And here is a vector quantity. We can find its magnitude using Pythagorean theorem, and we can find the angle using inverse 10. The path projectile is parabolic. How do we know? We use the position function x and y. We can solve t from the x equation, substitute this t into the y equation. So we'll get an equation of y in terms of x. And that's how we determine the shape. Once you solve for t, substitute into this equation, this is what we have. Looks like it's constant times x minus a con another constant times x squared. This is an equation of a parabola. And that's how we know the trajectory is parabolic. The effect of air resistance. The purple shape is the path, the parabolic path with no air resistance. The blue one is with air resistance. As you can see, cumulative effect can be large. Both the height, maximum height, and horizontal distance decreases. And the path, furthermore, this path, the blue path, is not parabolic anymore. Here are examples for a bounced ball. As you can see, it's a higher, the, the height is getting lower and lower. This is because every bounce uh, the ball loses energy, and that the path is not parabolic, slightly off. For a trajectory of, of volcanic splashes, the trajectory also deviates from parabolic shape due to air resistance. Example, let's consider the following skier. What is her acceleration at point G, H, and I after she flies off the ramp, neglect air resistance. Since at all three points she's in air, the only force is gravity, so her acceleration would be gravitational acceleration. So at all three points, they are the same. Another example, a motorcycle stunt rider rides off the edge of a cliff. Just at the edge, his velocity is horizontal. So the path is horizontal projectile with a magnitude of nine meters per second. Find motorcycle's position distance from the edge of the cliff and the velocity at 0.5 seconds. Let's see, first, it's always a great idea to write down what's given. Draw a picture, you have your x to the right, you have y, I have determined up is positive. So this would be given. Initial velocity in the x direction is 9, y is a 0, horizontal projectile. Initial, initial position, you have determined it to be 0, 0. We know Ax, there is no horizontal acceleration, y is negative, because you have determined up to be positive. To find position, we use position equation. And the vector for the position would be 4. Of uh, 5 meters i plus negative 1.2 meters j. The distance is from origin to here. That's a straight line. We use Pythagorean theorem to find the distance. Velocity, we use an equation of velocity. As you can see, horizontal does not change. Y changes using that equation. And the vector form of that is v equals 9i minus 4.9j. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.